Hey guys, so today I am going to model for you the sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous rocks through the starburst experiment. The materials you're going to need are, of course, starburst, in which my dad already ate some. They're pretty much a classic. You're going to need a bowl, a plastic bag, scissors. I am also using my stove. You can use a hot plate or you don't have to use either of those. Um, this is just for modeling the igneous rock portion of the experiment but if you're going to use a hot plate or a stove then you would need a pot of boiling water and then the bowl is going to go with that i'm ready i hope you guys are ready so let's begin first we are going to pick three colors of starburst the three different colors represent three different minerals make sure that they're unwrapped then cut them into small pieces because this is going to be our sediment I use scissors because I found that it sped the process up, but if your students are planning on eating these afterwards, I suggest having them break these into parts by hand for sanitation purposes. Voila! Now we have our sediments and we're going to make our sedimentary rock. Since so sedimentary rocks are formed through sediments being glued together, by cementation, you are going to clump the starburst together until they stick. You can use new pieces of starburst if you like or your previous sedimentary rock. You are going to put the starburst in a plastic bag that apply pressure and heat by rubbing your hands together repeatedly for one minute. This is done because metamorphic rocks are formed by heat and pressure. Our metamorphic rock has formed and as you can see has little swirlies on it. Lastly, we are going to move to the stove top to create our igneous rock. Place a metamorphic rock or new starburst in a bowl and carefully place the bowl inside boiling water. The safest option is to wear gloves and only do this under parental supervision if you're under 18. When your starbursts are melted, carefully remove the bowl using an oven mitt and tongs. Once the starburst hardens, you finally have your igneous rock. This experiment was so fun and delicious. I hope you guys enjoy it.